శ్రీనివాసరావు గుడిపాటి అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ కామర్స్ అండ్ సర్టిఫైడ్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ ప్లానర్ ఆర్ హియర్ టు ప్రజెంట్ యూ ది కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ మ్యూచువల్ ఫండ్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు గివ్ ద ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ వాట్ ఈస్ మ్యూచువల్ ఫండ్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ మ్యూచువల్ ఫండ్స్ what is the advantage of investing in mutual funds we will discuss in my presentation i would like to tell you one thing before starting my presentation this presentation is meant for investor awareness this is not meant for any commercial purpose in my presentation i am not promoting any companies any products in my presentation i have taken up the content from Amphi India. Amphi India means Association of Mutual Funds of India. So, Association of Mutual Funds of India, they are conducting a regularly investor awareness program. They have prepared a beautiful content. I have taken that content for providing the more uh, knowledge to investors. That is the reason why I have taken up that content. So, before starting my presentation, I am requesting you all, I am in YouTube channel, so my YouTube channel name is Budipati Srinivasara, subscribe my YouTube channel so that you will get the updates the relating to the capital market issues, I will make the videos on regular interval basis so that you will have the updates, you can watch my videos, you can have a better idea the regarding the capital market so shall we begin the presentation now the mutual funds here before going to the mutual funds presentation once again i would like to mention here the content which is used for this presentation which is taken from amphi association of mutual funds of india now we will see what is amphi amphi is an association of mutual funds in india The function of AMFI is to develop the Indian mutual fund industry in a professional and healthy and ethical lines. So that is the objective of establishing AMFI. So AMFI on regular intervals, they will conduct investor awareness program. During that program, they are giving a lot of information regarding the investment and the investment procedure. So I have taken up that content for my investment. presentation now see the situation what do you do with your money normally for this question we will have three answers what are those three answers either saving or spending or investing so normally we may have a little bit confusion the what is saving and what is investing saving is nothing bad the keeping certain portion of money from our investment aside so investment means the keeping the savings in income generating activity lines then only we can consider an investment i hope you are getting the difference between what is saving and investment here the central idea of this presentation is to provide the education relating to investments and the various options for the investment and the conversion of ideal saving portion into an investment this is the whole object of this presentation now see the situation once again so what we will do with our money either saving spending or investing normally what procedure we are following with the beautiful lines of warren buffett just go through it do not say what is left after spending but spend what is left after saving according to warren buffett he is saying that it is a market mantra simply we can say do not say what is left after spending but spend what is left after saving so according to warren buffett here he is urging the plan for investment first it means the plan for spending is next first of all fix the certain portion of the money for the purpose of investing and the leftover you can plan for the spending the normally in our regular course of life what we are doing first we are planning for spending and the leftover money is there any money balance then only we can go for investing 
But if you are following this kind of strategy, you will never ever have a good amount of investment. So that first you have to plan the portion of investment, then the leftover money you can plan for the, the spending. That is the meaning of the Warren Buffett saying. Now, what is the wrong with just saving? Just observe. What is the wrong with just saving? See, in savings, in simple savings, just understand, not investing. In simple saving, inflation eats up your savings over time. So, saving is considered, it is an ideal. It means, which is not an income generating lines, ideal fund. Saving is nothing but simply an ideal fund. When it will become an ideal fund, when savings converted as an investment, then only it is considered an ideal fund. So from ideal fund to ideal fund, the conversion, that is the whole objective of this presentation. In saving, normally what happens? Inflation eats up your savings over time. How inflation eats up your saving? We will see with a beautiful example. Now, Suppose if you are having this just savings 30,000 today, if inflation is 5%, see after 5 years, after 5 years, the same expenses would require the 40,000. After 15 years, it would require 60,000. After 20 years, the expenses will go up 80,000. Your savings will not help you to cope up this kind of expenses increases. So I hope you know very well what is inflation. So inflation is nothing but a constant rise in a price level is considered an inflation. Because of the inflation, the expenses requirement or the expenses level is increasing. Just the savings, we cannot meet this kind of inflated expenses. So what is the solution for this? Just before going to that, let us have an idea how your savings leads to the rupee value is going down. See, what does inflation do? Your savings. Suppose there is an impact of inflation 5% yearly. Suppose we have just savings 1 lakh today. The savings value may be ended up with 80,000 after 5 years by considering 5% inflation. In 15 years, the saving value is ended up with 50,000. In 20 years, the savings value of 1 lakh will be ended up with 35,000. So in this way, we are going to forego our rupee value just by saving. So if we consider 5% inflation, it happens like this. If inflation level is more than 5%, the figures will change enormously. So what will be the option for facing this kind of situation. Just see that. The solution is investing. Whatever the portion we are having in saving component, it should be in investing platform. Investing only safeguard against the inflation. So here, the follow certain things, start saving earlier, you start the better. The person, one who starts early, see there is a saying, Early bird catches the sunrise. In the same way, the start saving earlier, you will catch very good benefits. So, progress from saving to investing. Put money to work rather than accumulating or keeping it idle. So, your idle money the must be convert as an investment. You work hard to earn money, so make the money work hard for you. This is a beautiful mantra for your money. So, for earning money, we need to work very hard. So, now, they keep your money in earning hard for you. So, this is the main, the secret of the investor. The benefit from the power of compound. By investing, you will get the benefits from the power of compounding. Now, I hope you are having an idea of the what is saving, what is investing, why we need to invest, not simply saving. 
So investing will give you the opportunity to safeguard against the inflation. Now, see one more uh, beautiful quote relating to Warren Buffett. Never depend on single income. Make investment to create a second source of income. So that, so better to have a plan to have a second source of income. Definitely a second source of income will help you a lot in all crucial times. So that keep your own savings to generate as a second source of income for your better living life. So please follow the formula of the Warren Buffett in your investing lifestyle. Just see once again, never depend on single income. Make investment to create a second source. Just follow this mantra. Now, determine what you are investing for. See that, why we are investing, we know very well. Now understand for what we are investing. Have a goal, have a plan. Now here, I have taken up seven goals in everybody's common life. See that, for a broad tour or simply we can say foreign tour or buying a car, if you are having already a car for higher end car purchasing or family production or purchasing a new house for children education for our own retirements. Normally we have plans or goals like this. So according to plan, go for investing. So goal based investing always gives you a beautiful returns for you. So that your investing instrument must be matched with your goals. So that is the reason why we recommend you all always the goal based investing. Identify your goal and select the product which is perfectly matching with your goal. So goal based investment always help you to lead your life comfortably with a beautiful returns. Now we understand the what is saving, what is investing, why we need to invest, how we need to invest. Now see the options. Now what are the options we have? So normally we have these options. Not only these options, we have n number of options. For better understanding, I have taken up a few options which are highly so useful. So mutual funds, the gold investment, stocks, bonds, bank deposits, insurance, the property. So these are the various options. Now, in these options, where to invest? You may be contemplating. So how to invest? Now, first have a goal in your mind. The basing on the goal, we can select a beautiful investment which is working for you. How it is, we will see that. Now, we have seen different options in our investment galore. Now, your investment must have these following features. Now, what are the features? Make your investment work for you. First rule, fight inflation for you. Your investment must fight for you. Inf inflation. So, must fight for you means fight inflation. You need not worry about inflation. Your investment will fight for you. So, this is the first point. The fight inflation for you. And second one, provide income when you need it. Whenever you are in dire need of income, that investment must be in a position to provide the income. And the third one is, your investment must be in a position to accessible and usable in parts and portions. And grow in value and appreciate over time. It means a capital appreciation. Another one is, be realizable at fair and low cost. Whenever you want to withdraw from the investment, it should be in a position to realizable with a fair value. So keeping these factors in your mind, choose the investment option. So proper asset allocation is the best way to invest. How to allocate your money in a proper way, we will discuss in the coming slides. Now, the allocation, we can take it with a beautiful example of Thali. In our regular Thali, what we are doing, we are maintaining a balance. So in a similar way, we are maintaining a balanced diet like a Thali. In our investment also, we need to maintain a diversification. 
in different funds. So how we need to allocate, on what basis we need to allocate, we will have a look. Now see that. Just have a look in the slide. Just go through the slide. Asset allocation should match your needs. Here, certain category options are given. Here, another category options are given. In this particular category, your investment, the grow in value, it means there is a possibility of capital appreciation. In this category, simply a revenue generation model. Now, in capital appreciation model, the options are the property, gold, art collection, equity shares, mutual funds. But the revenue generation category means income generation category, bonds, NSE, national saving certificates, and Kishan Vikas Patras, PPF, public provident fund, bank, company deposits, and mutual funds. By careful observation, we can understand here mutual funds in both the categories. There is a possibility of mutual funds by growing capital value and generating income also. So mutual fund is a, such a wonderful option for us for capital appreciation and the revenue generation also. So that we can choose mutual fund as a, one of the best option for our investments. Now we will see what is mutual funds. So till now we understood what is saving and what is investment, why we need to save, why we need to invest and what are the different ways for investing, what is goal based investing we have learned so far. Now we have identified mutual fund is a beautiful option for investment for capital appreciation and the revenue generation. Now we will throw a light on mutual funds. What is mutual fund? Just go through it. Mutual fund is a trust that pools the savings of a number of investors who shares a common financial goal. Simply we can say mutual fund is a pooled money. It is pooled up from different individual investors, those who are having a common goal. So that pooled money is called as a mutual fund. The mutual fund is divided into units with a specified value. Normally, mutual fund unit value is the 10 rupees. Say for example, person A invested 1000 rupees, person B invested 2000 rupees, person B invested 3000 rupees. Now total pulled up money is 6000 rupees. With this 6000 rupees, mutual fund wants to divide as a unit, one unit 10 rupees per unit. Now, total 6000 divided by 10, total units are 600. In this way, the mutual fund is operating. In mutual fund, anybody with an investable surplus, as little as few hundred rupees also can invest in mutual funds. This is the greatest feature of the mutual fund. Any person with their little bit amount, so that they can go for investing in mutual funds. This is one of the greatest options for mutual funds. Money collected is invested by professional fund manager. In mutual fund, the money pulled up as a mutual fund, it is maintained by a fund manager, a person who is having a professional qualification for maintaining the fund, so that he will manage the entire fund on behalf of all mutual fund investors. So that mutual fund investors will have a minimum minimum returns. Here, securities could be ranged from shares to debentures, from government bonds to money market instruments, depending upon the scheme stated objectives. The pooled money invested in market through a fund manager, either in securities, or debentures or government bonds or money market instruments according to the objectives of the fund. Mutual fund investment gives the market returns and not issued return. This is the most important thing. There is no guaranteed returns. Bank mutual fund is less risky 
comparatively other options in the capital market. In the long term market returns have the potential to perform better than other issued return products. In mutual funds, in a long term tenure, definitely it is beaten up other issued return products. This is another important feature of the mutual fund. Investment in the mutual fund is the most cost efficient as it offers the lowest charge to the investor. For investing in mutual funds, it is a low cost FR. Recently, SEBI has given the guidelines abolishment of entry load. At the time of entry, there is no question of expenses. Now we will have how mutual fund is the working. Just go through that. This slide. How does a mutual fund work? For better understanding the mechanism of the mutual fund, all investors pulled up their money and with this pulled up money, one fund manager is managing the total pooled money. The total pooled money, we can say it's a mutual fund. The total, the pulled up money or a mutual fund amount invested by fund manager in stocks and securities, helping to generate returns and those returns are delivered to investors by way of dividends and all. So this is the mechanism. Here the role of fund manager is crucial. The fund manager is a professional person appointed by the asset management company who is looking after all the aspects relating to the mutual fund. So this is the mechanism which is existing in mutual fund. In coming slide, we will have a clear idea about each and every step in mutual fund organization. Now, we will have an idea why we need to invest in mutual funds. What are the benefits in investing in mutual funds? Just go through it. Why invest in mutual funds? In mutual funds, the first major advantage is professional management of the fund. The total fold up money is managed by a professional fund manager so that a professional fund manager will take care of all the things regarding the fund investments. Now, another important aspect is transparency. So you can understand where your investment is invested in various instruments of the capital market. Another one is the liquidity. Liquidity is another beautiful option of the mutual fund. So whenever you want to withdraw from the mutual fund investment scheme with a simple way we can get it our original investment. So that is the liquidity. Well regulated by SEBI. Mutual funds are regulated by SEBI in an effective manner. Mutual funds are mutual funds are very much convenient for small investors also and the low cost also. So because of these advantages, the mutual funds we can say a best option for any kind of investor. Now we will see the what are the different types of the mutual funds. Now in mutual funds organization structure we will see that. After that we will have a look different types of mutual funds. Mutual fund structure, first, this is the complete structure of the mutual fund. The sponsors are the persons, one who came up with an idea of establishing a mutual fund. The sponsors, we can say A, B, C persons came up with an idea of establishing a mutual fund. So sponsors execute a trust, so with a trust deed, the trustees are appointed. Trustees are the persons, those who are acting as a custodian for the mutual fund. See here the mutual fund is created by way of collecting money from the various investors. This mutual fund is operated by asset management company. This is the asset com as management company established by the trustees. So trustees appointed the asset management company. After asset management company appointment, Asset management company is appointing agents or distributors, the bankers, the fund accountants and the registrars and the transfer people, transfer agents we can say. So this is the structure 
operating the entire the mutual fund. So the total the mutual fund operation is under the stringent rules and guidelines of the SEBI. So need not worry about the mutual fund investment. So now we will see the, what are the different types of mutual funds. Types of mutual funds. So according to organizational structure, we have the open-ended funds, the closed-ended funds, interval funds. Open-ended funds, as the name suggesting itself, investor can enter and exit any time. So such kind of open funds, we can say open-ended funds. But closed-ended funds, it is a contra to open-ended funds. In closed-ended funds, within a certain stipulated period only, an investor can enter. So after the locking period, so investors cannot uh, enter in such funds. Such category funds are considered closed-ended funds. Open-ended funds normally are diversified funds. Closed-ended funds normally we can say a retirement funds. The interval funds. It is another category of closed-ended funds. Interval funds having the features of both open-ended and closed-ended. We will have a clear idea in coming slides for each and every category of funds. Now, according to management of portfolio, active funds and passive funds. In active funds, the fund manager actively investing in capital market of the total mutual fund money. In passive funds, they are normally index funds. They won't change the investment pattern. Here, the investment pattern is the replicating of the total benchmark, we can say, in index. Another category of funds, investment objective based growth funds, income funds, hybrid funds. Another category, investment portfolio, equity funds, debt funds, hybrid funds, a combination of equity and debt, and the liquid funds. And the other category is exchange traded funds, like shares, these funds also traded electronically in exchanges, like gold ETFs. Electronic Traded Funds of the Gold, Gold Electronic Traded Funds, ELSS, Equity Linked Shaving Schemes, and the other category, uh, Retirement or Pension Schemes, and the Overseas Funds, and the Funds of Funds. This is the different categories of mutual funds.